This is the PCQ08 from Lee and Lee. You know, I don't really have to say much about the aesthetics. You guys can see it. Uh, I will say that this thing supports full RGB lighting. There are dimmers on the back. You, you can make this thing into almost anything you like. So it's going to be a nice light show, but it's also going to show off all your components. We have two large pieces of tempered glass, one on the front and one on the side. It's going to be looking down on your components in your motherboard tray area. These are decently thick and they're also slightly tented. Um, and that should give it a nice look, especially if you have a, a glow coming from the from your case. You don't have to turn them on, but you know, you can if you want to. This is going to be a very quick overview video because I'm probably going to do a build in here. So we're not going to fully tear it apart right now. We're going to make this quick. And then we're really going to get into it when we do the uh, the full build video. All right, looking at the top here, we have four USB 3.0 ports that uh, brushed aluminum there. You can see the edge is not rounded. It's got a more aggressive look to it. We have uh, a spot that can be removed if you want to install a radiator up top. Now you can support up to a 240 millimeter radiator right there if you remove this. Now that we're here, let's take a look at the front without the glass on. So you can see we already have three, and those are the LED 120 millimeter fans right there that are installed. You can fit radiators up here. You have 70 millimeters worth of depth right there. And you can see there's a dust filter and an air vent just behind that. So you can put a nice large 360 millimeter radiator right freaking there. Here is your motherboard tray. We have a lot of room and nothing's gonna go here except for the motherboard. You can see that huge cutout. All the other components go on the other side. You got your rubber grommets. Power supply does not go on the bottom. The motherboard can extend all the way down and you have some cable routing options. Again, everything goes behind there. You have 370 millimeters of total space here. So if you wanna put a huge graphics card in there, you go right ahead. Also, one more of those fans is installed right here in the back. Speaking of the back, let's go ahead and take a look at the back. All right, now you can mount a 120 millimeter radiator right here, and uh, the, the holes for this are not slotted, so it has to go right freaking there. And we have our support here for all your PCI Express expansion right there. There's your I.O. And then over here, we have a, a bracket on the inside. We'll, we'll open it up and take a look at that in just a second. Down here, these three knobs are for red, green, and blue. They're dimmers so that uh, you have full RGB with this. Now I'm gonna take the top off right here. Just very easily lifts right up. There we go, very simple. Now a couple of things that I wanted to mention about the top, I'll go ahead and get the uh, dust filter out of here. Once I pull the top off, dust filter just comes right off and that's if you're gonna be using the top, uh, you know, spot for the 240 rad or just, you know, a couple of extra fans. There's the dust filter. Uh, so Lee and Lee is uh, taking a bit of heat for not always uh, including dust filters, and this one's quite a bit better as far as that goes. All right, um, also, we got some water cooling options. Side panels, they come off really easily. You just pull, and there you go. All right, we have space in here for six three and a half inch drives, and if you get the two and a half inch drives that have the adapters, um, you can use two and a half inch drives here. Uh, other two and a half inch drives will mount using the, the, the grommet system to the top and also the bottom of this, so they'll, they'll mount right in there and right in there. So and this entire thing is removable. There's a, you know, a couple of fans in here and uh, those fans are uh, probably gonna be used for exhausting in this air chamber, coming in right here and exhausting out the back. So it's gonna just constantly be cooling down your hard drives and that's a really uh, nice design right there. So I also like the fact that this can come out if you, you know, wanna take it all the way out. You can just mount two and a half inch drives. You can basically stick two and a half inch drives wherever you want. They're non-mechanical, so it doesn't matter where you put them. Right up here in the front, uh, that's where your intake is going to be for all the fans in the front or your, you know, whatever you have going on. And I'll just pull it up that much to show you this. This entire thing comes out. And this is not cheap plastic. This is in a metal housing. So nice build quality here on the, uh, the dust filter. Very nice build quality. Let's look down here uh, where the power supply goes. Now you can fit up to a 298 millimeter power supply right here. And there is a pad, a little rubber pad. Uh, to help, you know, dampen it a little bit, and uh, yeah, it'll mount right there. It's uh, going to mount on its side, so I don't think that'll do too much, uh, since all of the heat is going to be contained in this chamber. It's not really going to get onto the other components, so that should be fine. Now, all this business here is um, to control your RGB setup. You have spots where you can plug in the fans, and also some LED lighting strips. So you get all that, plug it in, and make this thing look like. I don't know, whatever you want it to look like. LED lighting strips. Here are those uh, three LED lighting strips that come in the box. So you can really put those anywhere you like. This would be a fun case for modders. Here's the rest of the stuff that comes in the box. I mean, they give you a PC speaker. They give you uh, tie-down brackets. They give you a uh, Molex to, uh, you know, like the tiny fan adapters, two-pin. Um, so you have 
plenty of adapters here. All the different tools you're going to need. Uh, plenty of rubber grommets, screws, standoffs, you know, all the standard stuff, plus a few extras. Let's say your motherboard only has one USB 3 header. Well, you can use one of the USB 2 headers uh, with this device and then plug it into the USB 3 header on top. You'll only get USB 2 speeds, but I love the fact that they include this adapter in the box. All right, so that's the uh, PCQ08 from Lee and Lee. I think I might put my system in here because this has exactly everything I wanted when I was building my system and I had to cut some corners to make radiators fit and all that, but this will do nicely. So stay tuned for that if I decide to do it. If not, we'll put something in here because it's just too damn beautiful. So that's uh, that's it. Let us know what you think in the comments. Um, as far as things that I would change about this, you know, sound dampening is a thing that you kind of uh, can have if you want to sacrifice some of the, maybe some of the aesthetics or just put quiet fans in there. That's pretty much what I would do. Uh, other than that, there's not much I would change. This is for a certain uh, person I would like to see, you know, more two and a half inch uh, spots for hard drives, but you can, you know, put an SSD anywhere in there. So not much of a gripe. Overall, uh, standard Lee and Lee quality.